Good morning, good morning, good morning, my brothers and sisters. Welcome to Daily Fresh Manna. We continue with our theme for May 2024, The Lord is Our Shepherd. Today's message is, follow the path, his footsteps, his righteousness has benefits. Our scripture is found in Psalm 85 and verse number 13. Our message today, follow the path, his footsteps, his righteousness has benefits. Our scripture is Psalm 85, verse 13. Righteousness will go before him and will make his footsteps into a way in which to walk. Righteousness shall walk in front of him and we are to follow in his steps. Jehovah himself appears to lead his people forward. Before him goes righteousness. His righteousness moves him to save his people. And his righteousness makes his footsteps ahead of him for us to walk in. His righteousness made the way for us to walk in so that we, his people, may follow without being prevented so that you will know the way without any hindrances. Righteousness shall go before him. Righteousness prepares the way for the restoration of the people to God's favor. Righteousness shall set us in the way of his steps. Righteousness causes God's people to walk in the way that he has marked out by his footsteps of his righteousness before him we step into his steps. Righteousness shall go before him. We shall anticipate his coming and prepare his way into our lives. The idea is that before his appearing, there has been a proclamation of righteousness, and we should, in preparation for his advent, return by diffusing diffusing of righteousness, the gospel among the people. In other words, the nation, in the prospect of his coming, would turn from sin and would seek to be prepared for his appearing. We remember John proclaimed the coming of the Redeemer. Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, in Matthew 3, verse 2. And so also the voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight, Matthew 3, 3. And shall set us in the way of his steps. According to that, The idea is that the effect of his coming would be to dispose people to walk in the way of the steps which he took to be his imitators and followers. The thought is that his coming would have the effect of turning people to the path of righteousness and truth. This is the design effect of all the visitations of our God to this world. As we head into the end of all things, my brothers and sisters, remember that God has us, the righteous, stay in righteousness in that special place in him. And if you have not turned your life over to him, then you cannot be righteous. Because there's only one way to be righteous, and that is to be cleansed from all sin through the blood of Jesus Christ our Lord. He cleanses us from all unrighteousness and gives us a coat of righteousness to walk even in this world, but we have the righteousness of God within us. And we overcome because of his blood. Hallelujah. The blood of Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. So let us remember a very few of the benefits of being in that place of righteousness and keeping in steps and walking in righteousness day by day by day, sacrificing our regular life 
unto him and yielding to the Holy Spirit and putting the um, flesh under control by the Holy Spirit and not the other way around. Praise God. Be controlled by the Holy Spirit in your thought, in your words, and in your deeds every day. Remember these scriptures. Psalm 37, verse 25. I have been young and now am old, yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his descendants begging bread. Psalm 37, 23 and 24. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delights in his way. And though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholds him with his hand. Psalm 34 Verse 12 to 20, who is the man who desires life and loves many days that he may see good? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears are open to their cry. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. But the righteous cry out, and the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is near to those who have a broken heart and saves such as have a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. Psalm 37, 39 to 40. But the salvation of the righteous is from the Lord. He is their strength in time of trouble. And the Lord shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. Psalm 55, verse 22, cast your burden on the Lord and he shall sustain you. He shall never permit the righteous to be moved. Proverbs 18, verse 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower, and the righteous run to it and are safe. Proverbs 21, verse 21. He who follows righteousness and mercy finds life, righteousness, and honor. 2 Timothy 4, 7 through 8. I have fought. The good fight, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. And finally, there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give to me on that day, and not to me only, but also to all who have loved his appearing. Oh, my brothers and sisters, righteousness will go before him and shall make his footsteps our pathway. Let us pray. Let us look at this song here. I have decided to follow Jesus. 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 No turning back, no turning back. Though no one join me, still I will follow. Though no one join me, still I will follow. 
Though no one join me, still I will follow. No turning back, no turning back. The world behind me, the cross before me. The world behind me, the cross before me. The world behind me, the cross before me. No turning back. No turning back, no turning back, no turning back. My brothers and sisters, Heavenly Father, we lift them up to you today. And we ask you, Lord, to strengthen us this day and that we continue to go forth in righteousness. For we are blessed for the many thousands of benefits of the righteous. We thank you, Lord, that you keep us, you deliver us, you provide for us, you protect us, you heal us. Oh, Lord God, you make a way before us in the presence of any of our enemies. We thank you, Father, that our head is anointed with oil and our cups run over. We are your children. Hallelujah. And we thank you and praise you. No weapon formed against us will prosper. Father, we have decided to follow Jesus. And there's no turning back. There's no turning back. Keep us, Heavenly Father, under the blood of Jesus Christ. And, Lord, we give you all the glory, all the honor, and the praise. Bless this day and keep us in every way, in every area of our lives. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Have a wonderful day. The Lord be magnified. The Lord be glorified this day. And have your way, Heavenly Father, in our lives. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We thank you, Lord.